What's going on, Aquarius? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Aquarius, make sure you stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. What is going on in your life right now? How's your career energy? How's the romantic energy? Who is coming and going in your life? What should you avoid? What you should focus on, right? Is there travel happening? What is happening? Let us find out right now for you. And let's see, what's our first card? What do you got? What's, what's going on for Aquarius? Oh, 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 this one wanted to come out. Wheel of Fortune, talk about travel, right? That is the way to start your, start your uh, read right there. You got the Wheel of Fortune strength card. Oh my, Hierophant, I love it, I love it. Three of Swords, the Devil, gotcha. Eight of Pentacles, look at this. Seven of Pentacles, wow, okay, so. Definitely new opportunities, energy is coming and going. And I do see here that you really gotta know what you're looking for as far as this energy, because it's like on one hand, you have all these opportunities waiting to manifest, right? But on the other hand, there's resistance and the energy blockage from letting them flow. This energy blockage is something that is self-sabotage. This is something that we all go through, but you gotta understand Aquarius, unless you clear your energy, you can't invite new energy into your life. And what that means is let go to receive. So imagine this, imagine right now, you are holding a rock, but imagine right now, I want to give you a pile of gold. What do you have to do? Let go to receive. And that's what's really going on here. If your awareness is on the familiar past or predictable future, your awareness is not in the present moment. And energy is something that is finite, right? It's almost like cash. You don't just like create cash out of thin air. You gotta go work for it, right? So it's very valuable. Same thing that's going on here. I see right now there's so many different opportunities about to come your way. I see that these are long-term investments, both financially, but also networking and collaborating with others as far as friendships and romance. Like the fact they got the two of cups and the lovers card here you can really expect someone to be entering your life that matches your energy and harmony someone they have a very strong bond with you may even know this person from a previous lifetime and the energy that i'm picking up is that first you're going to be you know maybe uh connected with each other through business or maybe through a you're going to meet them at work or just something that you know something very mutual but then it leads to romance right and the energy that i'm picking up is this is happening much much sooner rather than later. And right now, if your focus and awareness is on something that is not paying dividends, we're going to miss the boat. Now, I'll give you an example, right? Imagine if we had a toothache, it hurts. Now imagine all we're doing is focusing on this. Oh man, my tooth hurts so much. And imagine all of a sudden you get a knock on your door. Dun, dun, dun. Someone says, hi, how are you? I just want to introduce myself. I moved across the hall or across the street and my name is so-and-so. And imagine your tooth hurt. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, sounds good. We'll talk later, right? So that person's like, oh, okay and they just walk away. Now imagine if that was your soulmate. Imagine because your awareness was on something else, we weren't able to see them for who they truly are. And that's the energy that I'm picking up. Opportunities are coming your way, but you gotta be ready, Aquarius. Your focus has to be there. And I do see here, the opportunities may come when you're potentially traveling, right? The fact that you had the wheel of fortune here, now this means that it might be out and about. So for example, at a coffee shop, maybe you're at a, at a barbecue, maybe you're at a weekend getaway, maybe it's a vacation, but you're going to be in a setting that is not your regular, typical home setting, right? So you're going to be meeting this person almost when you least expect it. And that's how it works, you know? Whenever we're like, how am I gonna meet my soulmate? When am I gonna meet my soulmate? That is lack, and that, is the, that lack does not create a thought of abundance. Like for example, you will never control how, when, where. That is up to spirit. So for example, you might be at a coffee shop, get a tap on your shoulder. Hey, how you doing? I ordered the same drink. Wow, is it good? Great. By the way, just want to introduce myself. I like your energy, right? That is how you're going to meet your soulmate. So we, it's unpredictable. But you have control over, you know, how quickly you meet your soulmate. And in that, in that sense is, you always manifest who you are, not what you want. So the more magnetic you are, the more high vibration you are, the sooner this happens. So your number one priority in life should just be being in a high vibration. Because when you're in a high vibration, 
soulmates, love, wealth, happiness, it all comes to you. It, you got to understand, people, opportunities, and energy loves to be around a high vibration. They can't help themselves. You know how like bees love flower, flowers? Like they love pollen. They got to get it. Same thing. Everyone wants to be around the winning team. Aquarius, you are the winning team when you are confident. You are the winning team when you are shining. You are the winning team when you are magnetic. This comes when you're taking time and instilling excellent habits in your life. And I do see here for a lot of you, this is the time to not only start connecting with yourself spiritually, but also physically, mind, body, and soul. And right now, when you do this, you are not going to feel like you're procrastinating, waiting, wishing, wanting, hoping, needing that goes right out the window. So what is this? me mind body and soul i know for example if i don't get enough sleep i'm not magnetic if i eat foods that don't make me feel good i'm not magnetic if i am thinking thoughts that are lower frequency i am not magnetic this goes against me wanting my my put my uh, uh priorities my priority in life is to win win and what does winning mean to me that means me connected to my higher self because when i'm connected to my higher self Money comes to me. I don't need to look for it. Opportunities left and right. It's so awesome. And when I'm connected to my higher self, my wife is more attracted to me. Romance, everything, right? So my number one priority is connecting to my higher self. So for example, the next time you feel as if you are lost in thought, you know, you're worried, you feel anxious, you feel like something is wrong, you hit an energetic roadblock, that is because you're thinking and feeling in the third dimension. This is not an energy you want to be in. What you want to do is leave this energy, go to the fifth and seventh dimension. How do you do that? Stop thinking of your bills, your worries, your body, your thoughts, and instead bring your awareness to your third eye. You have two eyes. You have another eye right here. Bring your awareness to your third eye. Do it right now. Try it. Bring your awareness to your third eye, middle of your head. You notice it feels weird? That is because you activated it. Now I want you to start feeling your body vibrating. Feel your body vibrate. That's all you got to do. Try to feel tingly. Try to feel tingly in your hands. Start have your body vibrate. That's it. That's it. You are atomic particle vibrating, right? Your vibration, your frequency, your energy. When you start doing this, now you're not thinking of other stuff. Your awareness is on that. And that is exactly how you can stop all the noise and exactly how you can ah, let go for a sec. And when you let go for a sec, that's when the universe says, hey, do this. And you're like, oh, okay, I should do this. Here's the answer. And then you take that answer and then you apply it in the third dimension. Here's me taking action steps. I'm no longer chasing my own tail. Do you see where I'm going with this? But that only comes when you get that ah, release. And that release comes from me tapping into your energy, right? That's why meditation, that's why meditation is so important. Meditation is a skill that will change your life. And when you change your energy, that's when you change your life. All right, so I want to pull an animal card for you. Let's see, what do we got right now? Look at that. You got pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. Use your mind wisely. What are your guides telling you right now? Your mind, your thoughts, your state of being creates your reality, right? Understand that you are a co-creator in this quantum entangled world of fractal holographic universe. You are the one that dictates what happens, right? The power is in your hands, but are we aware of it? You're not waiting for stuff. Stuff is waiting for you, right? It's like you're waiting for people to show up to the party, but the party is waiting for you to show up. You know what I mean? And right now the universe wants you to know that. All right, now final message for Aquarius from the universe. Universe final message, please, for Aquarius. What should Aquarius focus on right now? And the message is be gentle with yourself. Look at that. Wow, be gentle with yourself. Now, it's number 33. That's a synchronicity. And the message is, a time of new birth and energy is upon you. Draw on the lessons you have learned to assist you in moving forward. Notice how you have grown and changed as a result of everything that has transpired. Gather information as you go and be ready for new adventure. All signs are positive for successful outcomes at this time. You are on the right path. You will be gifted your desires. Don't worry. Everything is going to work itself out. Aquarius, it is your birthright to be rich and be with your soulmate. You don't need to ask this anymore. Don't ask yourself, is this going to happen? It is going to happen. But when it happens, it's a, it's a time frame that you have control over, right? The more magnetic you are, the higher frequency you are, the more happier you are, the sooner this happens. Whenever you feel lower frequency, frequency energy of worrying anxiousness and all that energy understand that is not you that is a test 
The test is, are you going to stay in this energy or are you going to pull yourself up from this energy? And pulling yourself from this energy means bringing your awareness back to your thoughts, to your energy, right? Don't have your awareness wander. Don't worry about that. Bring your awareness back and then everything will be easy. Alrighty, Chris, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Till next time, honor your soul.